What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to the BS Show. As everyone knows, Khabib Nurmagomedov beat Conor McGregor via via net crank in the fourth round a few weeks back. Conor McGregor has went on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and every other platform you can, and he has publicly said he wants a rematch. Supposedly, that's not really likely to happen, so Conor McGregor kind of understands that, and he has stated, even if I don't get the rematch, I am ready to fight whoever's next. So I wanted to talk about who could Conor McGregor potentially fight. As we all know, this division is absolutely stacked. I mean, you look at the top 10 rankings, you know, from from Nate Diaz to Ally Aquinta to Anthony Pettis to Justin Gaethje to Edson Barboza. Conor McGregor is now in a division to where every single fighter he fights poses as a, a legitimate, legitimate threat to him. Not only are they bigger and stronger, you know, he can't rely on that left hand anymore. You know, now he has fought in two bigger guys. Both times he fought Nate Diaz, he couldn't shut his lights off. And then when he fought Khabib, he got wrestled to death. So Conor McGregor does have weaknesses, ladies and gentlemen. He has weaknesses in his game. And it's not any fault to him that he's not a naturally big guy. It just goes to show that as you move up and wait, it's a different game. Guys can take those shots that other guys can't. But if now if we look at the top five, you know, you got Kevin Lee, you got Dustin Poirier, you got Tony Ferguson, and then you got Khabib. We'll go ahead and throw out Khabib and Tony for now because they're probably going to fight. But any of these fights, I think Conor McGregor will struggle with. The only guy that he has beaten in these rankings is Dustin Poirier. And in my opinion, if there is one guy in that division that Conor McGregor could beat, it would be Dustin Poirier. Everybody else on this list poses a 100% legitimate threat. Um, So Conor McGregor is not going to have an easy stroll like he did whenever he was fighting down at 145. Um, So maybe that's where he should go. Um, I feel like if Conor McGregor really starts fighting in this division and he decides to stay in this division, he could rack up a few losses in a row because everybody in this division are are killers. So, you know, I just wanted to to touch on this that, you know, Conor McGregor's in for a tough road and he can't rely on that left hand like he always does. So I'm not taking anything away from Conor McGregor. I'm not saying he's a great, uh, not a great fighter. I'm not saying that he's not a stud. I'm just simply saying that when you move up and wait, it's a different ball game. You now have guys that are walking around 20, 30 pounds heavier and they're cutting to that weight. So you can't just, you know, shut the lights off with one hit. So let, let me know, guys. I know there's a lot of Conor McGregor fans out there. You know, who? what do you think is next? Do you think he should stay in this division or do you think he should maybe drop back down and fight maybe a Max Holloway, maybe get a rematch with Jose Aldo? What do you guys think? I know Conor McGregor is obviously the face of the sport, so he's going to get what he wants. It just depends on where he's going to do it. So let me know what you guys think and thank you for tuning in.